Thanks for joining us this hour. I'm Erica Hill. Shocking stories, missed warning signs from the Parkland gunman's past. CNN's Rosa Flores spoke with one of the neighbors who says she watched this young man grow up. Do you love a good bargain? So do I. So you're going to love this next bit of news. HLN Deals is coming back. Exclusive discounts for you on must-have items. How does 60% off sound to you? Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Technology, fashion, stuff for the home. Here's the thing. You can get them all. Let's get you caught up on some of the must-see videos of the day. First stop is Omaha, Nebraska. Police headquarters where a suspect is being questioned. Officers leave the room and then... Take a look at what happens. That white ball down there is actually cocaine that fell out of the ceiling when an officer went to check. The crime scene tech cleaning the room discovered uh, the alleged stash. So there's that. Our affiliate KETV reporting that prosecutors ended up charging the man with drug possession. A judge sentenced him to nine months probation. From the ceiling to the hardwood, last night the Houston Rockets about to defeat the Utah Jazz, and that's when star Chris Paul, dribbling out the basketball, decides to high-five the mom of one of his teammates, James Harden. And that's a turnover. Yeah, see, technically, Chris Paul went out of bounds when he went to deliver the high-five. Ouch. Uh, and here's one more for you. Take a look. That fancy look. Editing and a soundtrack will do so much. Nearly three million views for that gem. The model pose with the head flip at just the right time. Posted on Twitter by Amy Boyce, who says she has been crying at this for hours. So if that doesn't make you happy, maybe nothing will. You're welcome. <laughs> One more for you, and we do love this story today. Dolly Parton donating her 100 millionth book. And to mark that milestone, she's at the Library of Congress today. So this is all part of Dolly Parton's Imagination Library program. If you're not familiar with it, it mails free books to children around the world. She explained the inspiration behind it all this morning. Take a listen. Dolly Parton's Imagination Library, as we mentioned, mails books. They are sent to children from birth through age five in participating communities, not just in the U.S., also in the U.K., Canada, and Australia, according to the website. This all started in 1995, and at that point, the books were distributed just to kids in Sevier County, Tennessee. But as you see since then, the Imagination Library has grown from giving books to 2,000 children a month to now more than a million kids every month. How does a highly respected scientist at the Centers for Disease Control just disappear? It's, so I was at, I have full disclosure, I was at a fascinating luncheon with the American Heart Association a few weeks ago as they were kicking off their Go Red campaign for women. And there was a whole discussion about your heart is also a lady part and how they're bringing more OBGYNs in to get that message to hit home. How have we been missing this for so long? Well, I think that Actors too. A number of them are involved with your lady parts, for, for lack of a better term. They can be elevated by pregnancy. They can be elevated by menopause. How do we get women to start thinking about their the next seven to ten years for heart disease? And these conditions include elevated blood pressure during pregnancy, elevated blood sugars during pregnancy, baby weight in a set amount of time. It's suggested that really within the next three, three to 12 months or so, you lose that baby weight, because indirectly, that example. How is this changing then the conversations that you have with your patients, whether they're teenagers who are coming to you for their first appointment with their gynecologist, or whether they're women who are going through menopause in terms of getting them to recognize signs of heart issues? So I try to work the risk so high for women in general. And are they as high as they are for men? So the risks are as high as they are for to your male counterpart. But then we think about the non-traditional heart disease, 80% preventable. And those are the ones too. The changes in the conversation are the ones that can lead to that 80% in terms of prevention. So great to get the conversation started. Doctors appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, no worries. Thank you. Uh, we are getting some new information into us here about the Parkland, Florida shooter. The man who you saw in the video with drug possession and a judge sentenced him to nine months probation. That's going to do it for us today on The Story. I'm Erica Hill. Michaela picks things up next. Hello, my friend. I haven't seen you in forever. I know. I've missed you. And we're wearing Wait, red. are we wearing matching colors? We are wearing matching colors. Because we're so connected. We are very much connected. Enjoy your afternoon, my dear. We'll pick up the news from here.